シュルルルルパッパッドゥルドゥシュブリドゥダドゥブブブドゥドゥ Welcome back, Glad you made it. It's another social production, ladies and gents. We're doing it on the 12th of June 2023. Thank you for joining me once again. If it's your first time, buckle up, buckle down. Where can you find these videos? Every Monday, Wednesday, Friday, dropped on Instagram. Follow me there if you like. Subscribe on YouTube for the full length videos. Check out patreon.com slash Rob Sadri. And if you've been with me from the get go, sending all the love right back at you wherever you are. If you're tuning in from Canada, what's up? If you're tuning in from the United States, hello. Mexico, South America, Asia, Europe, Africa, Antarctica, Papua New Guinea, New Zealand, Australia, Japan. Hells yeah, everybody. Hope you're all doing well. Hope I already had a great weekend. I had a fantastic weekend myself. Got to relax a little bit, get a little bit of the old rejuvenation of the old batteries. Watched an amazing event, talking about UFC 289, which we'll briefly cover. And we'll get right into it. Overall, feeling good. I'm excited. We are man, oh man. We're halfway through the month right now. And the end of the month is approaching, ladies and gents. And again, if you've been with me from the get go, if you've just joined us recently, like what's going on? Things are about to be changing. This is what's going on. Going to be changing location, dude. Move in. Hell yeah, I'm excited. I'm, uh, you know, it's just, uh, you take it day by day, one step at a time, and you have fun with it. That's the, that's the most important thing I can say. Just have fun in life, uh, you know. And we all come together every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday here as a syndicate, as a family, as a group, as a gang. And we just, we have fun. We shoot the shit spreads the love tickles each other's little cooches if you will you know queef a little bit in between have fun and move along that's what we do baby so thank you again for joining me ladies and gents and again if you're joining me just today uh thank you for being a part of my journey day one of uh achieving full black hood i'm thank you for joining me on my journey of black hood i'm i'm trying to I'm trying to transition is what I'm trying to say. I'm trying to transition and hopefully, but I don't know how long it's going to take. Ladies and gentlemen, but it's day one, a few hours, not even a full day yet. But I, uh, my goal is to eventually grow into a full grown black man. Hopefully, I don't know how it works, but apparently it's plausible in other circumstances. So I'm going to be trying, God, I'm just going to, I don't know how to. Go back. Mm. Oh, mm. nah. Mm. Mm. It's the first day. Mm. Mm. Nice. It's the first day. So thank you. And that's the thing. I was thinking, should I just go straight to black? Or I think I'm going to take my time and transition. And I'm going to go through all the races, dude. Ladies and gents, that's full spectrum. And then I'll probably finish by being black. But maybe I'll come back to myself. But... It's a journey nonetheless, and it's day one of my journey. So thank you for being a part of my life. <laughs> melanin, melanin, Ex extra melanin. God, it's, yeah, some say that it can't be done. Some say you gotta be, you know, but hey, we're just out here, baby. You and I doing it. Many of things were impossible, but apparently now we're, you know, doing things, so. Never say never. Don't let your dreams just be dreams, ladies and gents. Doggy style, am I right? It's crazy how we say doggy style, but it's been a while since I've actually seen any dogs go at it, and I feel a little bit. It's one of those things that'll, you know, many people don't want to talk about it. It's, uh, you know, some call it cultural appropriation some people call it just the way it is i'm just saying when was the last time you saw a couple of pooches go at it doggy style if anything we've only seen doggy style via human form uh i as a human of course i'm prepared to do whatever it takes to rep the team but i'm also saying you know it's the most dangerous times ladies and gentlemen we are living in the most dangerous of times uh the, where common sense was dangerous are you do you are you the type of fellow or lady who likes to flirt with fire you are uh, you a uh, flirter with the flammable things and you got a little bit of a, oh you're trying to find that arsonist within you well don't or or do do whatever you like we're not about telling you what to do we're about just figuring it out together and god it's so much to figure out together. but that's what it is babe. it's the most dangerous of times Ooh, watch out there common sense cray cray 
that's that's where we're at right now. We're and I'm trying to figure out with you guys, man. So I need all y'all's to just be like, yo, what do we, you know? But well, we have fun while we figures it out. So melanin, melanin. Oh man, how do you do it? It's day one. I'm getting used to it, dude. By mm, nice, mm, nice. Day one, I feel like this is gonna be a long journey, but nonetheless, man, I told you from the beginning, and if you've been with me from the beginning, you know that this is a slow drip. This that this that IV drip, but somebody's got their foot on the little valve or whatever the tube that's inserted into the actual IV drip bag. Who knows? Dude? It's a, it's like molasses is what it is. We're gonna take our time. Melanin, mm, but I think I'm gonna. I think it's sun dependent. I'm gonna have to like you know. I'm gonna I'm gonna do whatever it takes. I'm gonna do whatever it takes. Melanin. Mm. One day, baby. One day. One step at a time. Again, this is just the first day. And we're just getting started. But yeah, man. If you're out there holding down the fort, keep on doing it. UFC 289. Really excited to see all the boys and gals from Canada go out there. The men's, the ladies, and gentlemen's out there repping hard. We were, yo. It was. First of all, it was in Vancouver. Shout out to BCO. And also, I believe we had five or six, if I'm, six if I'm not mistaken, of the fighters were Canadian and they all won. Congratulations, fucking you made us proud. You made the country proud. You, you held it down when it mattered the most. You repped, you repped hard. You put that Canadian maple leaf on your chest and you wore that flag. Can't really recall if you wore the, but you know, symbolically, you re the heart was represented by a maple leaf. God. That's that's what happens, son. You come up in the Great White North. You mess with the beavers. You get the you get the hooves. You get the hooves and the antlers of the moose because you mess with the beavers. All of a sudden, you got friggin' reindeer coming up in this bitch, just fucking throwing kickbacks, doggy. Watch out, watch out. We'll we'll build a dam together and gather all the blue jays and we'll, we'll if, when it comes down to animals, we collect it, dog. We collect them. We set them free. We set them loose on your ass munching on poutines and just teaching beavers and blue jays how to run amok. That's what we do around here. We are, I'm, you know, I'm, I'm a huge fan of the sport. It's become my, I've said it before, I'll keep saying it because it's, it, it, it holds. For your boy, it holds. It's my number one favorite sport to tune in and watch. It's pretty much the only sport that I'll tune in and watch at this point. So, you know, everybody fought great. Everybody, you know, went out and that's what it is. It's there's so many learning lessons each of these individuals If I have so much love and respect for all y'all because it's like It's not an easy task. It is not an easy job. Yes, of course Everybody chooses the path to a large degree that they like to follow but it is not an easy ask to Tell somebody hey, man, you're gonna get prepared. You're gonna go not only fight but fight in front of Thousands of people the pressure the noise the you know, can you remain? wherever you need to remain to come out on top. And it's like, and both parties are going in there to basically take each other's heads off with missiles, with, you know, little hand grenades here and there, little, oh, watch out, what is that, TNT, kapow. It's crazy town and I love every bit of it. I could never do it. It's, yeah, it's definitely something that I admire and things that I like try to extrapolate from the fighting world and like apply to my life in some weird shape or form if I may take a lesson you know, and that's what it is, baby. Ups and downs of the life, but getting back up is what it's all about. So, you know, I'm uh, again, and there's so many new fighters constantly coming in, and I'm trying to like, uh, there's you know people that I'm aware of. I've been following their careers. Uh, there's people that I'm getting to know. I'm excited for everybody, Co uh, young, up and coming athletes, fighters, uh, men's, women's, whoever you are, you're doing it, you're killing it, and again, rep in Canada, dude. Shout out to. Uh, Everybody, man, it's so hard to like, but that's, yeah. Remembering many of names is not my forte, but I'm trying to remember as many of names as I can. Mike Malott, if I'm not mistaken, last Canadian fight of the night. And we, we, oh, hell yeah, dude. That was a great, fantastic. It just got me fucking excited. Shout out, congratulations. And I'm excited for this uh, uh, dude's career trajectory, man. Keep up the good work. You made us proud. You made, you know, uh, I'm sure you made your camp and family proud. This is fucking, it's, it, it gets me going, dude. It gets me excited. Uh, another fight that I was looking forward to watching was Benil Dariush versus Charles Oliveira. That one was, you know, Benny D is a, he's a, he's a killer, dude. He's a killer. Nobody to be, you know, not to be taken lightly, not to be, you know, he's been around the block. He's, uh, he's got the, 
Arsenal is, you know, well-equipped. But at the same rate, you have Charles Oliveira, who I'm also a fan of. I, you know, I, yeah, it's when it comes to do like, you know, it's do or die now. And it's like, you know, again, a bunch of just assassins. You got the, you know, it's two assassins essentially going at it. And yeah, all I can say is congratulations to Charles. Uh, you know, I, it's one of the, and that's the thing when you like, I genuinely love all these guys and gals. So it's hard to be like, I'm rooting for this guy or that. I just like a good fight, a good show. And you all put on a great show. So congratulations to everybody. Amanda Nunes won her last fight. If I'm not mistaken, she's now retired. So thank you for all the fights. I'm not quite sure if this is like, I don't know how retirements like work. Will we see her come back again? Who knows? Uh, champ inside the octagon, I'm sure she's going to freaking go out there and kick ass wherever she decides to take her time, energy, resources and put her focus to whatever that she wants to put it towards. I'm sure she's going to come out on top being successful. And yeah, I man, it's just nice to see everybody's stories. That's just a little bit of the old UFC, a little bit of the old. We're just talking baseball inside base, inside UFC outside ufc dude, this is so far outside of ufc it couldn't be any further there's yeah there's stuff out here we're out here in the parking lot of the ufc baby you feel me we're out here in the we're, we're really far away is essentially what i'm trying to say like here's the ufc we're on the other coast dude ufc is on the west coast we out here all the way out here in the east coast so we're far but we're close via this the internets and touching dude so if, if any of these videos touched you uh, you know makes me happy if you know more of a symbolic touching no actual like i can't imagine how a video would actually physically touch you but hey if it does that's not on me dude ladies gents i'm just probably like you know if it's that's what we're here to you know touch and get touched no feels right feels right i'm gonna i'm gonna leave it be feels right boys and girls ladies and gents man it is exciting times imagine you just woke up and you know you found yourself just oh i'm just oh, i'm just waking up oh, oh my god what is this and you find yourself and i'm like oh oh my god where am i what is what is going on here where where am i is what you ask you wake up not realizing where you are what happened how did you get here where did you get here from when did you get here who did you get here no who brought you here the you know classic five w's and the h where the when why whom who who how i think that basically covers it all but that's essentially it baby you're on an island you wake up you're on an island and you find yourself in the nude, maybe, you know, mostly in the nude, maybe the junk is covered, who knows? But at the end of the day, man, you find yourself in a situation where you're surrounded by cannibals. What do you do? Hypothetical sitch. Let's go surrounded by cannibals. How to survive on a stranded island that you have no recollection of. As to how you got there in the first place, but you're here. And they're, how do you know they're cannibals? Well, they're eat, there's bodies, there's a, they're munching on bods too. They're eating some of this asshole right now. There's a, there's a, you know, there's a chief, there's a chief in the tribe. He's chewing on the mind. I think that, I don't know how tribes work. I don't know how cannibalistic tribes work, but maybe if there's like a hierarchy and there is a chief, I would assume if there was a person to be eaten and there's a hierarchy and there's a chief, I think the chief gets the first dibs on the meats and the good meats. If it's a fella, I think he's chewing on either nuts or or a limp penis, dude. Just fucking grilled up in a stick. Meat on a stick. That's the original meat on a stick. And he's just going to, going to town. Just nah. And he's looking at you and he's salivating and they're talking in a different language. And you know you're next. Well, how do you survive? I would, you know, I would suggest if you get caught up in a situation where you wake up and you have no recollection as how you got into that situation where you're on this cannibalistic island. I say you start, you go full feces, full fecal matters, baby. You, you start, if you figure out that they're about to eat your ass, I suggest you start shitting your pants. Well, you're not even wearing pants, but just like shitting, just fucking like, just, 
just let, I would, oh my God, if I woke up and I did one time, perhaps, maybe, maybe, maybe I did, maybe I did, maybe I didn't, who knows? Maybe I was out there doing uh, research, anthropological research in the depths of the jungle somewhere, you don't know me, and found myself in the nude, midst of uh, a beautiful cannibalistic culture that I didn't want to, you know, I didn't want to like judge, I didn't want to intervene, I didn't want to say anything, but also I, I wanted to keep this rectum intact, thank you very much. So what do I do if I'm caught up in that situation? Or it's, Maybe I was caught up in a situation like I start shitting myself, just fucking like wet. I will find any berries within the vicinity, most poisonous of berries, dude. I would get poisoned by the berries, start shitting myself, and but that'll only last you a few hours. I and I would slather, like I would just friggin' rub it all the way. If they're gonna, I'm not gonna make this an easy. You know what I mean? I'm not gonna. I'm gonna buy myself some time, and you're like, man, they'll grab your hands and throw you in the ocean or the sea and wash you up and clean you up before they go to town on that sausage, if you will. But uh, I'm, that's what I'm saying, man. That's the only thing I can think of. I would say you could start eating yourself, beat them to it. You know what I mean? If you're, if you're absolutely backed up into a corner where you're like, man, I'm going to get my ass eaten, start eating your own asshole, dude. Just head. And I know it's a, it's a big ask. It's a big ask, but it's one of those moments where like, you know, you're now in unknown territories. You're now in, you know, you're on the other side, baby, and you're surrounded and they're like, we're gonna eat that ass. Not if I eat it first. And you've never had your own ass before. You've, not for lack of trying either. It's just like, it's hard to reach. Everything down there is really hard to reach. It's So hopefully what I would say, like, the moral of the story of one thing you could take away from all of this is to start taking some sort of Pilates, some sort of Lamas classes, some sort of, you know, Brazilian Samba or yoga. Start getting flexible so when need be, you bite off your own dick. Ladies, you chew on that labia. Make sure it's not, you know, oh, if anybody's going to get to this labia, it's going to be me first. So you should, Head first, dude. Ladies, you've, that's that's how you know that you, you know it's the wrong one you mess with today, son. You let them know. Is it painful? Yes. Is it something you could potentially recover? Because if they see you eating yourself first, that's like, whoa, this fellow or this lady's like, you might actually maybe that's like the secret initiation. Maybe that's how you actually get initiated. Maybe that's how everybody, if you pay attention, and there's some people in the gang in the tribe, and they're like chunks of meat just missing maybe that's how like if you take a bite out of yourself maybe that's like letting them know that you're like you know you're down you 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 get it this guy gets it fucking just one chunk of arm missing this guy's been there he's done it so i don't even know what i'm saying dude but all i'm saying is it could happen you know plane crashes here you go down you're stuck in the middle of jungle who knows what you're gonna come face to face with so it's just good to be prepared man that's all i'm saying i'm just looking out for you know because they don't want us talking about this shit they want you to just be like all like, yeah, I'm gonna, I'm gonna just go all about my day and do my thing. And but you're not prepared for this shit. Just the other day, I heard a Colombian airline went down. Apparently, like, you know, some some around like 40 people, I think, went missing in the middle of the jungle. 40 people or 40 days, people in the jungle, either 40 days or 40 people just stuck in the middle of the jungle. You're telling me you can't come across a potential tribe of cannibals? easily and you would guess what nobody teaches you this shit nobody discusses this shit but luckily i think they all survived which is magic I'm, I'm super happy to hear about that but also like you know just be prepared out there you never know ladies and gents a lot of exciting things are happening it's ideas are coming and we're, we're in that age of like i said it's the most dangerous of times it's ooh, because like you know you try to like there's so many things you got to like you know Try to be either aware of or like, you know, be like, because you don't want to be like, we're always evolving. Ideas are always evolving. You don't ever want to be coming in with like an idea that's like, you know, you know, there's, I don't even know, dude, but like new ideas are emerging and ideas are colliding or ideas are like, you know, brushing up on each other. There's an idea right here. Oh, I'm, excuse me. What you, you know, ideas be just like up in each other's spaces, but it's cool to see that. Like right now, I believe it is. It is, uh, it's Pride Month, it's, you know, and, you know, people are doing their thing, it's, it's what it is, and 
But I did hear a little, you know, I, I heard a story, if I'm not mistaken, I didn't read too, too much into it. I just uh, heard that the Blue Jays, Toronto Blue Jays, our baseball teams, thank you very much. That's a, that's a game of the ball and a stick, a bat. What you know about bats, balls, and men's. But also, like, females play the game, too. Not in the same league. Do we have female Blue Jays? Not quite sure, to be honest with you. I'd be lying if I said I did know. I'm going to say I don't know. I feel good. Yes. Yes. I don't know. Maybe we do, maybe we don't. But we do have a men's Blue Jays baseball team in the MLB. Thank you very much. And I just recently heard one of our boys was let go of the roster, if I'm not mistaken again, because he apparently shared some views on, I don't even know what. The, you know, it's this, you know, he, he shared some views on some LGBT matters. So something, something, the team let go of him. And I just don't think it's, you know, I don't, I don't think it's, you know, I don't think it's fair. I don't think it's enough. I don't think this, you know, I don't think this is how you get the message across. Because if somebody just voices their opinion, and you know you don't see them agreeing with you and you want to get them to change their mind even though everybody's technically entitled to their opinion but like let's say you were like you know anal about them changing their mind do you just fire them is that enough of the is that enough messaging i say you gotta this is what i think it's got i think the blue jays i think any other corporation for that matter if one of your employees expresses any opinion uh in this matter it happens to be concerning the you kind know, of something with the lgbt you know so firing's not enough i think this gentleman this young man i think uh the corporation the business model the entity that is the blue jays the franchise should uh, probably organize a bukkake of sorts, a gay old, big, big bukkake of gay men's and go either find this fella, make sure he sits, if we're going to be doing business and for the, if we're moving forward as a sports team and people, you know, people need to get educated, but sometimes you need to like, and that's what you do. I think like half a, you know, half a day for maybe seven days a week, just one week. Five out of the seven days, let's five business days, half days, six hours. This guy goes in and any other member who happens to have any opinions. Bukaki, male Bukaki, like, you know, six hours, just so, you know, just so the message is like, you know, because that's, that's what it is. So I think it's not enough. I think it's unfair. And I think if we, you know, collectively, if we want to see change, Bukaki is probably the way and like and the ladies out there don't you be thinking that you can go like have opinions and stuff if you're out there thinking like we'll we'll arrange it there's going to be female bukakis too and i'm sure we're going to find somebody who we're going to force to sit down and either partake or simply watch simply watch and learn so that's what i think should happen because it's not fair man it's just you know people just you know it's what it is is that it's uh I think you'll learn by taking part and, you know, because that's, that's what it, and, uh, you know, sports is one of those places where, like, sexuality matters the most. If any, if any, you know, I, I've always said it, there's two places that sexuality and any, and on, like, the whole spectrum of, like, sexuality, if, if there are two places that I could think of that it belongs the most, uh, one, uh, schooling, of course, the younger, the better, of course, that, that's where I think it belongs to the most those time, you know, those types of talks with like, you know, re regarding sex, sexuality, gender, like, you know, you want the earlier, the better and sports too, because like, you know, sports is all about team. It's all about, it's not about me. It's not about, there's no me and team. No way. There's no, it takes you and I, and there's no me and team. Something about teams being like a collective and not a, there's no, there are no eyes in team. Then how would they, how would they see? How would they even play the game if there are no eyes in team? You guys, 
It's there's a saying out there. There's a good saying out. There's no me and team. And who knows? The point is, ladies and gentlemen, if there are two places that I could think of that we need to be having these types of discussions, it's again the, the schools, the young kids, and sporting events. Sporting events, because like when you go to a show, when you go to a sporting, whether it's soccer whether it's baseball, whether it's hockey, whether it's football, competitive, badminton, uh, lacrosse, uh, you know, extreme uh, friggin' limbo, uh, you know, just hopscotch, uh, you, you name it, ladies and gents, the BMX, you know, games, skateboarding, downhill skiing, uphill skiing, regular flatland skiing, skating, all these sports, I could, uh, the, the, the swimming, basketball, volleyball, bowling, darts, chess, ping pong, any of the, what, what, you know, when, you, when we talk sports, the first thing that comes to mind is the sexuality and like, you know, and sex. When you think, when you watch sports, you don't watch for, you know, the people to go kick balls, people to take punt, you you look for sex because that's where it belongs. Any form of it, any form, it just belongs. That and again, it belongs in, in these types of discussions, two places, again, I cannot say this enough. In front of children, because they, you know, the level of comprehension is not so well. Like they can't again comment. So it's if you want any ideas, if you want idea, like the earlier the better. The earlier the better. The earlier the better. I would suggest as far as to go in inside. You know, some people say put headphones on the mother's stomach so the baby hears the inside the boom. Some people say play classical music. Apparently, it has something to do with like increasing EQ or whatever. IQ or something, who, who knows, who knows? I say, you apply the same concept, put headphones on your wife's belly, but just like, be like, you don't have to choose. You don't have, you're not, you know, don't worry about it, just messages, just going inside this. So this baby comes out, is like, that's, that's, I think that'll work out pretty well. I think that'll work out pretty well, ladies and gents, boys and girls. But that's just one instance, a larger, again, a larger thing that's kind of correlated to this that I've been seeing on the lines, not so much, well, a little bit of not on the lines, but the on the lines is kind of like a representation of what is happening on the grounds at times. Uh, there has been, you know, there is, you know, there's a video that I saw and it's like, I found it pretty hilarious, to be honest with you, just because it hit me on different levels. It hit me on different levels, and it's, here's what it is. Again, new ideas, right? We're in the age of new ideas, and that's always gonna be the case. There's always gonna be, we're gonna figure this thing out, we're gonna go back and forth, come up with the best version, hopefully, and then move on to the next thing, and like, that's how we grow, that's how we learn. So these are actually, I, I find this valuable, I find it interesting, people with differing ideas coming together. There was uh, two instances, two instances kind of, similar vibes there was an instance i believe sometime maybe last week or perhaps even the week before i'm not quite sure a canadian teacher was kind of giving a lecture of sorts to students to muslim students who didn't attend school on particular days because i believe again i'm not you know don't quote me on anything this is just the silly we're just having a silly old time here okay this is just for shits and giggles as you know students muslim students did not want to attend school i believe on particular days because the school was having some sort of like you know lg lgb events and yeah the there's a recording of this uh teacher just like essentially kind of telling these students that you know they don't belong this with the, and that their outlooks is wrong and what have you and it's a crazy little sitch. There's that one instance that happened. And I believe the students, all they did is just uh, choose not to go to school on particular days. I don't. Uh, and again, these are not even I don't even know where I like. I don't like, you know, I don't know. I'm not on any. of. I'm just trying to be like, here's us objectively viewing this from afar. 
and going through it, experiencing it. Because it's ideologies like, you know, coming and like trying to dance together essentially is what it is. So a bunch of students didn't show up for however long, essentially being like, you know, where you do your thing on your day, if that's, that's, the, that, that's the way it is. And then we will come back once it's, I don't know. But essentially this teacher was like, you know, that's, you know, it was kind of harsh. I don't, I don't want to go and play the, it's out there. It's on the internet. So you can find a Canadian teachers goes off on Muslim students. There's that instance. And then there is a, another hilarious, because it hit for me on different notes. It hit for me on different notes. There is a video of a mother, clearly a Muslim mother, who apparently has had it up to God knows where with whatever. And she was just, I don't know what, she was, I guess, speaking out against some of the uh, curriculum in the schools that are being taught to children. Uh, and it's just, it's, because uh, it, for me, you got to understand it hits different notes because I don't even know why I'm trying to figure it out, but essentially you have the idea of like Islam, which is in terms of Islam being, you know, gooch with gayness. And we'll get into that because I want to cover a bigger portion of this and that that portion will come back to this portion will be called which which of the religions is the gayest of the religions. We'll come back to that, but I, I do want to wrap this up before we move on to that particular section again muslim mother she's coming on tv she's coming on the telly she's being recorded or whatever and she's just uh, she's she's you know it's again clashes of ideologies because like essentially you know islam in the west is you know i'm not talking about you know right now it's relatively new there was sure there was you know there was different movements throughout history and whatnot we're not focused on that we're talking about right now relatively speaking there is a influx of obviously immigration obviously you know borders are getting crossed whether through the internet or just you know in the physical realm people are coming and going and islam for the most part was kind of like you know it's one of those it's it's a relatively new not, not really, but sort of, kind of. Like, you know, you're, you're getting an influx of, you know, migrants from the East to the West. You're going to have a bunch of, and you see this in Europe unfolding in different formats where, you know, clashes of ideologies, you know, Judeo-Christian ideologies, Western ideologies clashing or, you know, trying to, again, learn how to dance together. The East and the, uh, the West want to dance or something. So going back to the mother going online, she was just talking about you know, I'm going to paraphrase, but essentially she just like had it up to here and I'm coding her. She was just not having it like, oh, she was saying something along the lines of what is this boy, boy, girl, girl. And she said it like that. And it just like, boy, boy, you know, and that's, you could see the frustration of this. Like, Cause yes, there's definitely things that, you know, and, but it's, but it's because I, I don't know how to feel about all of this. Cause she's going like, she's using hand gestures. She's like, what is this freedom? boy boy girl girl and she was going like this i think she was trying to like do code signs like but but i actually genuinely do like i prefer to use this myself when i'm going like fucking when i'm air coding shit dude because you know this is this is fucking hefty dude like oh right there what is freedom boy boy girl, girl. you know that's boy boy girl girl it's just like and she's in a she's she's a full muslim lady you could see it and this is again this, these are tricky times and experiences we've got to figure it out together because it's people's ideas of freedoms are diff diff but same same because like one of my biggest fears one of my personal biggest fears is like it's a fear is a you know something you're afraid of phobia fear it, but it's sometimes it's what would you say that you know would you say the cuban population was having a little bit of fidel phobia of you know is it right to say that sometimes you know under stalin on uh, under you know did some russian people a lot of russian people have you know uh phobia of communism is that okay is that cool uh, I'm, I, I don't even know, dude, but I'm just saying people are, you know, uh, 
World War Two. The Nazis were big, right? And people fear of the Nazis. Is that fo so like f whatever, you know what it is? It's just what it's and for each individual and each, you know, depending on your life experience, it's all diff diff. But sometimes same, same. So I'm just trying to figure it out, man. So here I see a lady who is of you know i'm I'm cool with her i'm cool with i love everybody but one of my fears in life is that i'm i genuinely like organized islam scares the crap out of me dude that's just you know that's just that's that's just me i'm just saying it because like i've seen certain things where i'm like man this and you could argue that probably for almost any religion in different periods of history and shit but yeah like to me that for me is like so it's funny to like see these because like and in the west we want to be it comes with you that's the thing too because with like great powers comes great response in the east and the eastern cultures and you know in asia and part eastern europe there's a lot of you know a straight up like it's more hegemonic than you think because there's like you know this is the this is the group and you know it's like that's that's your identity as a group and that's your thing and you know it's not there's not much wiggle room like here in the west like the West is all about the wiggle room, baby. Everybody fucking wiggles here. We love it. We love it. It's, and we, you know, and that's the thing. That's the price you sometimes got to pay because you got to sort it out. Because yes, to we, we love like multiculturalism. Obviously, it brings everybody from all over the world together and a little bit of spice, a little bit of, you know, salt, pepper here, there, a little bit of sugar there, a little bit of, you know, paprika here. You just, you know, you mix it up. It's nice and everybody has options to choose what they, but as soon as it starts, you know, so it is... And then online, I would see people who are, it's, again, we got to figure this out because it's like, I will see it from like a, because this like, again, a new wave of immigrants is, is like coming into to the new world, to the, to the West. And they're like, and all of a sudden you see this lady going online. She's like, I'm not afraid of anything. I've, you know, she's just like essentially like had it up to where, I, and to us, like on particular things, I get it. Like you don't want like in-depth discussions of like sex with your kids at school on any part of the spectrum or whatever whether it's you know straight sex or you know you want to keep it like i, I remember i'm not even you know in my time I, this is not even too long ago you, you got the gist of it you got the very basics of it in like sex ed and like school just so you know how to like you know avoid stds the basics of like human anatomy and that was that was pretty much it there was not much more like i think it's just personally but then again again the, the younger the kids the more malleable they are so if you want to give them up nice ideology or an idea you want to ingrain it in there just like you know l look at other models that have worked really well like if, if you're in the look at isis if you be more like isis is what i would say to the lgbt community like that's that's the thing so like full bukaki on the jays player so that he, he gets the message just fucking explode dude 100 guys six hours five days a week so that we all understand well what respect and inclusivity means. Tricky times, boys and girls, because ladies and gents, again, we here in the West value openness, acceptance, love, respect. But that's the thing. So like here you have a, in this particular case, you have a Muslim lady who, you know, she's free to do whatever she likes. She practices her religion. Her family probably does it too. And all that jazz is all good. But there is something, and I've said this, and it's tricky, it's tricky because we, we do need to, as, as Western system, because like the East, if you go to Eastern, if you go to Saudi Arabia, if you go to a place like, you know, uh, Iran, if you go to other places, if you, there's, you know, that, them's the rules, and like, you gotta, that's, that's the way, nobody goes to Saudi Arabia, for example, and starts, you know, behaving in non-Saudi ways. When you go, then that's what they expect. These are our laws. So I think it's good for us to have certain boundaries as well. Uh, but I do see like, there is a, I don't want there to be any confusion or at least I'm trying to like figure out what even the confusion is myself because I see online people like going all like, the Christian community saying like, we're, we're with you, it's our Muslim brothers and sisters and, and, and that's good. I, I like everybody being together. That's tight. But also like it's I think we're it's a tricky situation because at the end of the day. 
there are a lot of discrepancies like cause you don't want like i i think people like sometimes they that's why i i've said this before and i'll say it again sometimes like if you do this is why i like i i would love for you know low key but also high key i would love for western society canada united states uh western europe most of you know if we could if it should there you know I think if you're coming in a, like you know a new country or a new, I think you should, there's certain things you should probably like you know language is probably one and I I, I would say you should probably so yeah it's a tricky one I don't you know you yeah, of course you want everybody to be able to like choose whatever they want to practice whatever they're practicing but if you don't maintain your core demographic and you keep getting influxes of immigration and there's that's on this down the line as well that the majority like you know. We're gonna have to keep to keep things balanced. Essentially, is what I'm saying. Like it's uh, what I'm trying to say is, do not take. I don't want Judeo-Christian audiences or living people out there thinking that they're now finding themselves in a place of align with Muslim or Islamic ideologies. Because I, I understand how that might seem like. Oh, we're we're both kind of like, it's a tricky spot, dudes. And it's a tricky spot, ladies and gents. Cause like, I, I see how you want to protect your kids and you see maybe the, again, the Islamic faith probably being like less cool with the gayness, which we will get into. Are they, are they less cool with the gay? We'll get into that portion of it as well. But uh, all I'm saying is don't be like, you know, again, common sense is what I'm trying to say. It's the most dangerous thing that you could have these days. And I think again, uh, I don't even know what we're talking about today, but just particularly going because it is, I guess, the month. And I genuinely love everybody. I don't want this to be like, it's, you know, just if you're an adult, you should be able to do adult things whichever way you like, whether, it, you know, want to be practicing sex, want to be practicing uh, any faith or not. That's cool too. But essentially, like, that's the indoctrination on whichever side of the extremes it falls under. It's It, it always seems like the right answer. So which is which is go hard when you find young groups of kids go hard with any ideology and and work in a belief get a get a get a good get a good dogmatic belief ingrained into there so that they can come out and grow up to be adults who are i don't even know dude i don't know i'm just trying to figure i, I don't even know what i'm saying i'm just trying to figure it out because it's I, I just see ideas coming in because like yeah I, I i do see it i do see like you know older folks who have children who are like, man, maybe my kids should be like protected from like certain talks and topics. And yes, there is definitely common ground with probably like, you know, different people from different faiths. But at the end of the day, you don't want it to be like, all I'm saying is like to, to just the gist of it, if we can get into it, you know, I, 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 I don't want to see like, I, I wouldn't want to see where like the West uh, or Western ideologies has to succumb to or has to maybe one day adapt to Muslim or Islamic ideologies because that and it because that it's a tricky world essentially and all of this all of this like gets us like you know gets us all talking and it's good and it's fine because we do need to figure certain things out but it does kind of take away our attention from bigger issues because the more we talk about these things and it's and it's fine we can talk about whatever we want. But I think us going at each other's, you know, ways of life or living and like these are the things that keep us away from focusing on what's actually important, which is like, man, we're like spending a billion bucks on like forestry and forest fires, yet we're still having forest fires in Canada's. What? Affordable housing in Canada is off the... Oh, yeah, it's off the charts. Affordable housing. What What housing? What are you talking about? What? Can we get some monies? No, because we don't have any. Where's the monies going? Down to Ukraine. What? To, to give more aid and missiles and basic fuel, the war machine. What? There's so many, so there's so many things, but that, you know, and that's, that's the thing. At the end of the day, I think we're all so connected and we've got so much more in common than we do have differences and our differences are actually very you know it's cute and adorable and but it's what makes us human it's what makes us human but anytime you see any group going out there or any individual going out there and trying to like impose their perspective on it it, it gets a little bit like so yeah on 
instances like these two instances the teacher going out on the you know there's certain aspects of you know i think there's a like i think overall in schools here in canada i think we should be you know promoting canadian values canadian but that to me is like love and respect and you know being you know being a nice human being but again that has nothing to do with this does not justify that teacher trying to you know go down on those students because they didn't want to engage in some lgbt events and i don't even think you know that and that's the thing should even schools have these because that's that's what these are adult conversations for adults with full grown chest hair and sunken nut sacks not so sunken that they're hard to look at but a good level of sunken like mature sut you know just mature sack and labias too so that's exciting i don't even know what we're saying dudes all, all i'm saying is like let's you know let's uh let's maintain our values Chris, judeo-christian value that's as much of it and i'm not even but i'm just saying it needs to be because if you don't and these are the things you need to like be working on right now. We need to all be kind of like trying to figure because down the line, come like, you know, 50, 100 years from now, next thing you know, you got white Muslims in America. And, and that's cool. And that's fine. Nothing is scarier than a white Muslim. Like if you think about it, the scariest people on earth not just like Dagestan, dude, white Muslims, but then that if America and the, like, if Canada becomes like a, I don't even know what I'm saying, dude. All I'm saying is like, because those guys just fucking take it to another. They're good with their faith, but they're also really like hardworking and they don't have seemingly any of the fun. So it's just like that combined with AI will what is going on is all I'm trying to say dude so I don't even know what I'm trying to say all I'm saying is you go to certain parts of the world there are certain rules and we should have our own as well but that should also we should also because we do have a, we do have more on our plates here as well that's that's the reality of it again with great powers and essentially you know there's a lot of responsibility. So tricky times, ladies and gents. All I'm saying is uh, do not get entangled within each other's like, you know, common sense. Don't be, don't be, you know, but also do whatever you like to do. But also let's move on to the next topic briefly if we can, or not so briefly, maybe in depth. Because I was thinking about all this got me thinking about like which of the religions would be the gayest? Which of the religions would be the gayest? And I'm not familiar with all the religions out there. I only know, you know, the, and I don't even know the main ones in like depth. I'm just like, you know, briefly, like, you know, a little bit here, a little bit there, just so you know. You know, you got the classic Abrahamic religions, you got Islam, uh, Judaism, you got Christianity, uh, you got, you know, Eastern or Oriental religions from the Orient. You got Buddhism. In India, you got a whole lot of religions, which I'm not familiar with. Main one, I believe, is Hinduism, but I don't even know much about Hinduism. Uh, and then you got a whole lot of other, like I, I believe in India, there's like, I don't even know, dude. There's a ridiculous amount of religions in India. So t overall, I don't know too much about religions, but like, let's focus on the main ones, that the ones that we do know, and let's see which ones are the gayest ones. Just not based on what it's said or what it's, not based on the books, not based on the uh, interpretation of the but like the actual practical display of how it, it's how it's practically getting, I guess, used, utilized in the world. Is which religion is the gayest? Right, you know, I, let's let's start with uh, let's start with Islam. Is Islam how gay is Islam? I would say Islam is fairly gay, not so overtly, but I guess you know what it is overt to. It is over because in like in Islamic nations, there's a lot of segregation between the sexes, like the men's and the women's. And that's there's a like, you know, so that in, in and of itself might not be 
Like, they're not saying it's gay, but, like, if you're segregating the sexes, like, this is going to be all men's. This is going to be all women's. Keep That in and of itself is quite a gay. And I'm not saying it's good or bad. I'm just saying I've never said if it's good or bad. I have no opinions on anything other than, like, just having the opinions. I don't actually, for me, it's, like, it's just human experiences. I'm just trying to figure it out with you guys and gals. So who's the gayest of the religions? We'll figure it out. Segregating the sexes based on, you know, whatever, is it gay? I'd say so. Uh, and the sexes do happen to do a lot of kissing. The men's kiss a lot of men's in Islamic nations. The women's kiss a lot of women's. Again, seemingly not sexual, but kisses nonetheless. Gay. Um, what other things do they, you know, uh, let's, Christianity, you got, Christianity is, again, none of this is like written or perhaps practiced overtly, or maybe it is, I don't even know. Jesus was, Jesus is my homeboy. You know, I'm, I'm down with, I'm down with JC, dude, I get it. Uh, I don't think it's his thing, but I could see how it could be interpreted as like how, just the image, the imagery could be a little bit like you're looking at this like chiseled man who is, wearing relatively next to nothing really a, a loincloth and that could you know that's of course appealing to the ladies but could it also be you know if you're into it you're like man not two shafts your highness your lordship my god see where i'm going with this but also, and like, and then take JC out of it. Then you got the Catholic Church, which is like, you know, everybody knows what the Catholic Church does. The, the Lord's work, but also a lot of like, they've done good too. It's not just like, that's, and that's the thing too. It's, it's not that they've done no good. They've done a lot of good. But in, in the process, they have also fucking like put up numbers in the game of pedophilia, dude. They've got numbers. Vatican, numbers. So much so that you have to create a whole city to lock it down and have it not be held accountable to any form of law internationally, which is, that's devotion to something. So, gay? I don't know. I'm just an observer. And the same, I know like the Catholic Church gets that heat. I would extrapolate and say that probably is if you go into like the islamic world and like the men's teaching the if you do enough research i would not I probably wouldn't even take there there's a lot of there's a lot of organized crime with a lot of people so i'm just saying gay again not right not wrong just what it is and again probably not the way the og people intended it to be i don't even know dude so we covered uh, Islam, we covered Christianity in terms of Judaism being gay. How gay is Judaism? First of all, I think there, I think cutting off the tip of the old cack circumcision was, was a Jewish invention, if I'm not mistaken. If I'm not mistaken, dude. And that in of itself men's grown men's go and touch another young boy's penises cutting off the tip of their penises sometimes sucking off the blood i don't know what that is sucking off the, the gay right no that's what it is so that's borderline child abuse and gay um shalom my friends Buddhism I don't know too much about Buddhism dude uh, all I know is again another fella who liked to chill a lot by himself barely wearing anything probably getting high was he wasn't he who knows the point is ladies and gentlemen that uh, recently there was that whole suck on my tongue fiasco with the Dalai Lama getting all playful. Yeah, 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 yeah. So gay, another instance of, so 
our religions gay i don't know if it's innate but the way the human species happens to practice a lot of times you could argue a lot of practices fall in the in the gay genre you would say if you were like to view if you if you were to view this if this was like if you were going down to like if you were an alien if you're just an objective observer and you're looking out and you're trying to like put names on these genres of life's being lived or lives being lived rather it's you'd be like well a lot of men spending a lot of time with men islam gay uh You know, uh, Catholic Church instances. So these are all like, you know, so which one? Wait, I don't know particularly which religion is the gayest. If I had to choose, fuck it. If I had to choose, I'd say Islam is probably the gayest. Just because like, the that's that's just how I feel. What do you guys and gals think? Which of the religions do you think is the gayest? Write down your thoughts. If you have any ideas of your own, please do share. But those are, that's just a few of the things that have been, and I'm not, these are, these are fresh new ideas, ladies and gentlemen. We're trying to figure it out together. I'm not like, this is, this is not the place for, it's not the time or place to look for answers. This is a place and time for us to at least ask questions or something, ladies and gents. Otherwise, you could easily shift gears and move on to the next topic, such as being a porn director, but like a porn director who wanted to always like change the game, dude. Like if... Because you've never seen, you never seen porn genres being mixed together. You don't, you don't see the crossing over or overlapping of genres in porn. Like you don't see Dracula porn with pizza delivery porn, which is something that I thought about the other day, just last night. And I figured if that happens, well, God, I think that'll just be a hell of a show to what because that's the thing knock knock who's there technically you'd be expecting delivery boy with a special package but count dracula hopping on a moped delivering a friggin pizza or arriving at your door hard that's hard dude i think that'll fucking kill but also i want this like you know what if what if it was like a what if, what if it was a porn director who was just really fucking like anal about rationing in terms of like he's cheap let's say let's say there's not you know he was a type of like there's only one you know there's only like you we will get one bottle of lube and we'll only we'll use that bottle of lube for everybody who comes in because i don't want to have to buy a new lube that's just the way it is and then you're like well that's not sanitary or whatever and like this is the only uh, i'm not that guy but i'm just saying if i was a porn director and i was like to make it interesting and to create heat and friction I would be like use the same bottle it's not enough too bad I would try to just because like you know at the end of the day the product will come out looking good but he had his particular set of like ways of doing things they're like oh there's not enough lighting I'm like I, I, you know what apps dude I don't care I'm not gonna go spend money on lighting because you bleach that asshole you bleach that asshole I'm not gonna have to resort to lighting thank you so you know, that's just that's just trying to get the most bang for your buck, ladies and gentlemen. There's so many things happening in and around this beautiful planet. I love you. Thank you for joining me. I know it was uh it was it's Monday. We're rocking and rolling. I'm excited. We're gonna be rolling around. And again, all these are just like these are just ideas to their opinions. Of some of them are, you know, it's what it is. Comes in there with, you know, it's a the love of the game love of the game god damn it and again where can you find these videos every monday every wednesday every friday on instagram follow me there if you like subscribe on youtube because there is a it helps your boy out to be very honest with you and if you enjoy these videos if they made you laugh if they made you think about anything do hit those subscribe buttons helps your boy out because the algorithms need to be tickled need to be pampered need to you know and that's that's what the algorithms are so click that subscribe button helps your boy out and you get a notification every week when it drops again it's mondays wednesdays fridays if you'd like to fiscally support the show there's patreon.com slash rob said we talk about everything and nothing we have fun silly gooses and geeses and ganders out there doing it love y'all have a great start to your week go get it out there we'll be back here again on Wednesday. peace out